the Broke Brown Gal and this episode is going to be yet another jewelry review. I know, I think I've already established by now that I am a jewelry aficionado. I'm a jewelry fan. I love buying jewelry and so without further ado, let's reveal the brand that's going to be reviewed today. It's Show Me. Oh my god, I have become so completely infatuated with this brand. I already was, but once I actually started buying from them, I started owning their stuff. Yes, I can't stop. Before we go ahead and we start the unboxing and the review, I would like to thank uh, one of my viewers. Thank you so much for pointing out that my pronunciation of the brand Shome was absolutely atrocious. I am really not very good at uh, pronouncing um, names that are not English. So I do apologize for that. Um, the correct pronunciation of the brand is actually Chume, which is the French pronunciation. So thank you so much for pointing that out. I will make sure that in this video, I try to stick with the French pronunciation. However, being a stickler for detail, I did actually go to Google and I uh, put in the, uh, the brand name. And according to Google, the American pronunciation is actually Chume. So I was not too far off. However, I will try to stick and do my best to the uh, correct French pronunciation, which is Chume. Whew, <laughs> what a disclaimer. So without further ado, let's get right into the unboxing. Okay guys, so here we have that gorgeous blue shopping bag with the silver logo on the front, the grow grain ribbon. I'm just going to go ahead and take out the item. This is the folder with the invoices and paperwork, which we will go over later in the video. But for now, let's just focus on this gorgeous gift wrap box. It is so beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and undo the ribbon. This is their logo ribbon with the show me written all over it in a silver foil. And this is their uh, leather outside box. And inside is the actual jewelry box, which is also leather. Open the flap, take it out. And just like the Be My Love ring box, this one too is the exact same configuration with the Show Me logo on the front and the closure on top. And you open it and there we have it. The gorgeous Be My Love bracelet in the rose gold. Look at that, look at the way it's sparkling. It has a hinge closure where the bracelet actually lifts up and then you can lock it in place. I'm going to put it on really quickly for you guys, um, briefly here, and then we're going to take a look at it in detail later on in the video. Look at that, I managed to get it on by myself. Look at the way it's sparkling. Gorgeous. Okay guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing. Before I go ahead and I reveal what else is inside this uh, gorgeous blue bag, let's take a close look at the bracelet in question and then we'll get on with the rest of the video. Okay, so here we have a closer look at the Be My Love um, bracelet in the rose gold. You can see the show me inscribed on the inside of the bracelet and the lovely honeycomb design all around. Look at the way the light is catching and bouncing off of this. It's so, so beautiful. It has a lift up closure, which I'm gonna show you in just a second. There we go. And then the bracelet has two locks for security. So you press this down, lock it, and then there's a side lock as well. It's gorgeous. All right, we are back and I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let's go ahead and show you guys what else comes in this box. So as you guys saw in the unboxing, I unwrapped the gorgeous blue uh, box for you, which is right here. This is uh, the box uh, in which the bangle comes in. If you guys have seen my previous show me video, you will see that the Be My Love ring comes in a similar box. However, that box has the texture of fabric. It has the same textured um, fabric-like uh, packaging, uh, which is similar to the box. This one, however, the bangle one has a more of a leather-like texture. So if you guys can see, it's a more leather-like texture. If you are interested in uh, watching the Be My Love ring unboxing and review, I will link the video right up here. You guys can go ahead and take a look at it. This is what the ring looks like. I have two. I know I got. I love the first one so much. I went ahead and I got the second one as well. So the video will be up here in case you guys want to see it. So let's go ahead and open this again. Here we go. Here's the leather box inside, which I showed you guys early in the unboxing. I'm actually going to put this on right now in front of you, which is why I'm doing the whole thing again, kind of making it dramatic. This is the leather jewelry box, which comes inside the leather jewelry box. So it's actually two other jewelry boxes. 
whether it's real leather or not, I don't know, but it feels like leather, so we'll call it as such. Here we are. Mm -mm -mm. Lock closure on top. Let's undo it. I'm gonna have to hold it because it's like the cushion is not stuck, so I don't want it to topple out. And this is inside. Isn't this gorgeous? Look at that little monogram cushion on either side. Again. I'm gonna put this on now and take it up gently. There we go. And I'm gonna try and put it on myself. I'm not very good at putting on bracelets or necklaces I can manage, earrings I can manage. Bracelets are always a tricky thing for me, but I'm gonna try my best to put it on and not take too long or destroy it in the process. So there we go. There's like a little closure, a little, you can see here. So we're supposed to put this into the hook and it should make a clicking sound. Not very good at doing this in front of the camera, but let's see if I can get it on. Oh, there we go. And then there's a little closure here, a lock. I think it is on. There we go. I heard the little click. So that tells you that it's secure. There we go. You see it? Isn't it beautiful? The one thing that I absolutely adore about this bracelet is the fact that, like I told you guys before, it doesn't rely on gemstones um, to you know catch your eye. It is just beautiful on its own. The way that it's been faceted, you can see the light just bouncing, bouncing off of it. And despite the fact that it's in this um, honeycomb shape, and you might think that it's like, it's gonna be pointy and uncomfortable, I can tell you um, from experience because I've been wearing the rings constantly, it's incredibly comfortable. Nothing is poking you, nothing is like uncomfortable or doesn't fit right. It's just beautiful. And I'm so happy that I actually went for this one. This bracelet actually comes in a number of configurations. If you are interested, it comes in the rose gold, the plain rose gold, which I have right here. It also comes in white gold. It also comes in yellow gold. Uh, and all three versions, yellow, white, and rose gold, are also available in the ones that are studded with diamonds. So you can take your pick. The diamond ones are obviously gonna be a lot more expensive than this one. Anyways, let's go ahead and finish the tour of our gift bag. Ooh, why did I put this back inside? Okay. So if you guys remember from the unboxing, we had our uh, Shomei uh, monogram ribbon, which was used to tie this little gorgeous package up. In addition, there is, as usual, the Shomei, Shomei, did I just say it wrong again? The Shomei uh, folder, and this folder contains all of your paperwork. So it's gonna have your invoice, which is going to have your price. It's gonna have the terms and conditions of returns and exchanges on the back. And it's also going to have your essays uh, business card over here. Plus it's going to have the certificate of authenticity over here. And that certificate basically states that your item is an authentic Shomet item. It's going to have the item number. It's going to have the reference number, the piece of the name of the piece, and of course the date that you purchased it. And if you ever want to resell your item, it's very important that you hold on to the paperwork of the item. Oh my God. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video and it was informative. If you are interested in more jewelry reviews, I do have a couple of videos up on my channel. I'm going to link one of them here. That's the most recent one that I did. It's for the Cartier CD wedding band uh, in rose gold. So if you're interested in that, do check that out. If you guys have any show made pieces of your own, please do share them with me. I would love to hear from you in the comments down below. If there are any suggestions you would like to make uh, for me, um, please do let me know. I'm open to suggestions. I love hearing from you guys. I would really appreciate it if you could go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It will just take a second. Just hit the red subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell because that will allow you to be notified every time I upload new content on my channel. Oh, well, that's it. I hope to see you guys in my next video very soon. So take care, guys, and bye-bye.